Hello, it's Catalyst again. I just watched Together for Peace's video. In it, he, he asks, or he calls all atheists, I guess, to respond to this, or at least as, as many as I guess he wants. Uh, he has two questions, one of them being, what defines your moral code? And to that, I, I'd have to quote Confucius, who, who said, uh, what you do not wish upon yourself, extend not to others. This was said about 550 years before this Jesus character. It's this, this train of thought, this golden rule, if you will, is prevalent in mostly every culture, every society. And as far as the second question, uh, Together for Peace asks, uh, how are your beliefs less prone to creating misery and conflict than Christian beliefs? Well, that's just the point. Atheists don't have a belief system. It's not a belief system. It's the lack of belief and a god or gods, a theism. That's this has been said a thousand times, but no one's listening. But to personally answer that question, at least for me, I'd have to say history. You, if you look in the past, if you check the past, you'll find that the majority of all, this has probably been said too, and you probably have heard this many times, but pretty much all fights, if it hasn't been over land, or the acquisition of it, it has been in the name of some godfather figure, some invisible, unprovable figure or figures and it doesn't make sense to me and there's also searches for 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 objects and there's a whole era where people are trying to be converted either you convert or you die and then there was, what were those, the witch hunts? Sad. Well, I, I believe you would be hard pressed to, to find an atheist or group of atheists who will kill mass amounts of people for a belief system. We, we don't have this belief and a kill for something you can't prove it really never made any sense to me I hope that answers your questions at least but yeah I hope they answer your questions well thank you